Our next guest, uh, building a tool to make Bitcoin transactions faster and more scalable. Joining us right now on set is David Marcus, who's the CEO and co-founder of LightSpark. It's a Bitcoin-based payment startup built on the Lightning Network. David was previously president of PayPal and headed Meta's Payments Venture. We used to talk to him many a times after years of leading Facebook Messenger. Good morning to you. Good morning. So we were just saying the, the state of fintech and the state of, of payments and, and where we really are. You're working on a new project. I shouldn't even say a new project, but a, a project around the Lightning Network, which is aimed at basically taking Bitcoin. You can explain it better than I can. It's effectively, you take it off chain and then put it back on chain to make these transactions faster. Yes, actually what we're trying to do is turn Bitcoin into a, a real payment, global payment network, because you know, we have many tourists walking right outside of the studio right now. If you were to stop one of them and uh, wanting to communicate with them, you could ask them for an email address and you can email them easily the next minute. Uh, you could text them, you could add them to a group video chat, you can do all of these things. But if you were to send them money, if they were not a U.S. citizen here in the U.S. using one of the same fintech apps you're using, uh, then you wouldn't be able to do that. And so we're still in the fax era of global payments, and that's what we're attempting to solve. Right. Well, why is that so important, by the way? Because the truth is, I can use Venmo. I mean, others can use services that, that are connected to each other. Why is, it so, why is that such a terrible answer? So let, let's, let's double click on that for okay. a second. So you can use Venmo, but if someone is not using Venmo they or can't. is an international uh, right. tourist walking right outside right, right now, but you right can't now send if them I money. have an iPhone and I want to message somebody, I mean, if, if I don't have WhatsApp and somebody wants to WhatsApp me, they have to get the WhatsApp app. But you have text, which is universal, where you can actually communicate and reach out to anyone you want in the world with one simple addressing scheme, which is a phone number, which is human readable. And you can't do that with money. There's no universal protocol for money on the internet that actually enables value to be transported to, right. through the internet. So if you were to want to send money to one of these people, you would probably need to ask them for a bank account number. The bank account number would be in different format depending on where you are in the world. You would have to actually physically walk to a branch and pay $50 right. to do an international wire. And if it's after Friday, 5 p.m., right. tough luck. And how big a business is that? It's ginormous, right? It's trillions of dollars of transactions that transit through SWIFT and right. other payment networks. Well, right? let me ask you a separate question, which is around Bitcoin. We've watched the valuation of Bitcoin sort of sit around $25,000, $26,000. We've all been questioning, so where does this go? And does Bitcoin ever really become a currency, which is what you talk about it becoming? Do you think the value of Bitcoin needs to or can move up if it's actually a currency? Meaning I've always made the argument the currency problem is if, if Bitcoin is, if you think Bitcoin is going 30 or 50 or $60,000, there's no way I'm going to spend it on, a, you know, a pizza yeah. or on anything, frankly. Mm -hmm. um, if I think it's going to go down, by the way, I might spend it immediately. Our, our, so our view is actually that Bitcoin is not the currency that people will use to buy things. But a fragment of a Bitcoin on top of Lightning is like a, a, a small packet, data packet on the Internet, only for value. And so you can exchange at the edges of the network and send dollars to someone that will receive Japanese yen on the other side uh, or send dollars to someone who will receive euros on the other side. And uh, the actual net settlement layer that is used is basically Bitcoin, Lightning, and it settles in real time, cash final, and at right. a very, very low cost. One last